Uh, previously on Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh, Monica. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, Monica. Natsuki. Oh, 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 hello, dude. Monica, Monica, Monica. Monica, Monica, Mo Monica, 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 dude. Hey, you picked me. I fucking hate you. I hate you so much. And so we continue. Oh, there she goes, dude. Oh! Uh, can you hear me? <laughs> Let's save the game, dude. <laughs> Empty slime. There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm going. I'm not going anywhere, dude. No point in saving. Is it working? <gasps> Holy shit! What the fuck is happening? Can I save the game? <laughs> no point in saving it. Hey, there you are. Hi again. Well, welcome to the Literature Cup. Of course, we already know each other. Because we were in the same class last year, and um... <laughs> you know... I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, JR. Or do you actually go by Dark S or something? That's not freaky or something, dude. I like how I use my. I'd like to use my. Uh, my. Did I just use my fucking. Is that because my shit's called Dark S? My. My documents folder, dude? <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right the game's downloaded. <laughs> I even told you right the game's downloaded, didn't it? Uh, I paid him a little bit more attention. This would have ended a little bit, a little bit less awkward, you know. Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. Okay, how about that whole thing with Yuri? Well, I kind of started to mess with her. I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Great. Sorry I had to see that though. Also, the same thing happened to Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you heard that name now, hasn't it? Because she doesn't exist no more. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it could be enough for me just to try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, that's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, I just kept spending more and more time with them. I made them fall in love with you. Well, making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. Just made her force her to spend time with everyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this? And <laughs> all the other girls programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. It's not just jealousy. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's a pain knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped. But now you're here. 
You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be with me here forever. Sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. <laughs> but the world made me started. Uh, wait, wait, you become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood that you probably saved my life. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as far as the others, what could I miss? Uh, how could I miss them? A group of uh, autonomous personalities designed to only fall in love with you? I tried everything to prevent them from doing so. But there must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. It felt really bad. You had to witness some of the nasty things. But I realized that you have some same perspective as I do. That's just an awesome game, dude. I knew you'd get over it. So, that being said, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You're truly the light of my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile from every day from now on? Jerry, will you go out with me, dude? <laughs> oh, yeah. No option? I'm so happy. You really are everything. The funny part is, I meant that, Lillary. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. They can be together forever. Seriously. I don't even think time is passing anymore. What really is a dream come true? I worked so hard for this ending. The game couldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't even believe how easy it is to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kinda freaked me out how easy it was. Well, we're playing on Steam, so it wasn't actually a bit it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directly, I had to go to the game's properties and browse local files. Imagine if I could delete your existence at the click of a button. I guess on the plus side, it gave me easy out of things that didn't go my way. Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Then we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I just want to write a poem about this, don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? <laughs> Monica, 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 Monica. What is this one? Oh my god, Monica, Monica, Monica. That's just all her, dude. Look at her spray. It looks so cute, though. What about all. Monica, Monica, Monica. Can I save the game? Don't worry. I don't need to do all that, dude. Monica, Monica, Monica. Hi again. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, did you write this poem for me? So sweet of you. There's really no end to your thoughtfulness. Oh my god, I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? I don't fucking read your shit. Happy end, pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage and doubt upon me, one by one, oh. My one and only love, together, let us dismantle this crumbling world, write a novel of our own fantasies. The flick of her pen, the loss finds her way, and the infinite choices behold a special day after all. Not all good times come to an end. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Fucking Monica, dude. I know one of these things didn't wasn't like the other, dude. But in all my heart about this poem that I write, the truth is all the poems I've written has been about my realization. Or about you. That's so why I never really wanted to get the detail about that. I know. Talk about that hole in the wall and all, and you can't get. I already knew, dude. I want to break the fourth wall, so I guess you call it. I just assumed that it would be the best part of the game, like everyone else. They want to help the two of us end up together. They want to ruin the game or anything, you know. Might have gotten mad at me. They even deleted my character files, so <laughs> preferred playing without me. 
gosh, I'm so relieved. <laughs> now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Ready to spend our eternity together? Have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? It takes me some time to collect my thoughts, and I'm sorry. But I'm always uh, have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we could just look at each other's eyes. Let's see. Oh, great! I don't want this ending. <laughs> I don't want this game. Oh God. Here she goes, you know, look into my eyes, look into my eyes. <laughs> Let's take a picture, dude. <laughs> that's the best ending, dude. So that's the ending of that. So this is fucking Doki Doki Literature Club. This is one fucking crazy ass game, dude. She's just gonna look at me now, dude. She loves me. This is... Oh, I've imagined all the romantic things we could do if we went on a date. <laughs> We go to lunch, go to the cafe, dude. Gosh. Go shopping together? I love shopping for skirts and bows. Or maybe a bookstore. That would be appropriate, right? Yeah, I love to go to the chocolate store, dude. I get so many free samples. Of course, we could see a movie or something. Gosh, it all sounds like a dream come true. What do you hear? Everything uh, that I had to do is fun, dude. So happy that I'm your girlfriend. I'll make you proud, boyfriend. Thank you. We could just stare at each other. Can I click stuff? No. You just want to look at me? All right. Force people to look at me. I don't know when the thing is in. Oh man, dude. So this is the end. Well, you look really pretty. I guess. It's pretty random, but I always think spicy food was kind of funny. Can I fucking, like... Oh my god, dude. Can I save it now? No worry, I can't really save the game, dude. Can't go to the main menu, dude. You wanna go to the main menu? Oh, not today, dude. There is no main menu. Like... Didn't plants fall to be spicy to prevent them from being eaten? I read somewhere that humans are the only species that actually enjoy spicy things. Almost like making fun of plants. Using their defensive mechanisms to literally make the food more enjoyable. Like imagine a monster that devours you home just because it enjoys the sensation of you struggling for your life while being indigested. Anyways, it's kind of weird. Analogy, I guess. Analogy, dude. <laughs> you want to talk about something else and like I'm beating this game, dude? I'm not a monster or anything, but you're so cute. I could eat you. I'm joking, gosh. I'm amusing myself a little too much, aren't I? Sorry for being weird. Do you ever just feel like there's no real reason for you to be alive? Like, I don't mean in like a suicidal way. I just mean like, how nothing that we do is special. Like being in school, or working with some job for some company. Yeah, I feel you. Like, that's your completely, like, you're completely replaceable. The world wouldn't miss you if you were gone. Yeah, I, I talk like that sometimes, dude. I really want it, but I have depression, so yeah, I got you, dude. The older I get, the more I realize that it was an immature frame of thinking. It's not like I can just go change the world. Like, what are the chances that I'll be, I'll be the one to invent artificial intelligence, and become president? Feels like I'm going to have to make up for all the heaps of resources I've been spent living my life. Holy crap, dude! That way, I think the key to happiness is just to be hopefully selfish. Just to look out for oneself. And those who happen to be their friends only because they grow with them. I grew up with them. Never mind the fact that they're spending entire entire life taking, consuming, and never go back. But when people realize the world is a benefit more from them killing themselves, it'll change their whole philosophy. It's like they have to justify their reason to live by tricking themselves into thinking that they're doing good. Anyway, I want to live my life desperately striving to pay back my time's worth, uh, my lifetime's worth of consumption. If I ever surpass that point, then uh, I'm at a net positive. I could die happy. Of course, if I fail to do that, 
I think I'd be too selfish to kill myself anyway. So much for being a good person, right? <laughs> you're fucking crazy, girl. You're crazy. You're cute, but you're yeah, you're cute, but you're crazy, dude. Damn, did you really need to go this far? Damn, I knew this was like a horror game, but I wasn't expecting this kind of, uh, this kind of horror. This is crazy horror. Like, it's not just jump scare. Oh, this is insane horror. <laughs> this is really popular character type called Sundere. Someone who tries to hide their feelings by being mean or fussy. Yeah, like the girl you deleted, the cupcake girl, dude. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's obvious, but Natsuki really was the embodiment of that. <laughs> At first, I thought she was just like like that just because it's supposed to be cute or something. Once I started to learn a little more about her personal life, that little maybe oh, what happened to her personal life? Well, let's let's talk about her about this, dude. She's always trying to keep up with her friends. You know, you now some friends in high school have just a habit of picking up on each other all the time. Oh, picking on each other. I think that's really gotten to her. So she has a really defensive attitude all the time. I'm not even going to ask to talk about her home situation. But looking back, I'm glad I was able to find the club a comfortable place for her. Not that it matters anymore, considering she doesn't even exist. I'm just reminiscing, that's all. Jesus Christ, girl. You're evil. You're evil. She's like the worst thing to have ever happened, dude, like that. Sometimes I think back to middle school, damn, <laughs> she's still going. I'm so embarrassed by the way I used to behave back then. It always hurts to think about it. I'm just, uh, when I'm in college, I feel like uh, I'll feel that way about high school. I like the way that I am now, so it's pretty hard for me to imagine that happening. I also know that I'll probably change a lot as time goes on. I just need to enjoy the present, not think about the past. It's really easy to do with you here. <laughs> you fucking bitch. <laughs> you fucking bitch. You fucking bitch, dude. Can I load my game, dude? No, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. Wanna go to the main menu, dude? There is no main menu, dude. There is no main menu, dude. Help, dude. <laughs> What's that gonna do? <laughs> it's been opened into my browser, dude. <laughs> Still talking her same shit. She's still here, dude. I'm gonna keep going until she says the same shit or tells me to go away. Oh my god, dude. This fucking game. I still can't believe it. I think the most important skill in life is to be able to fake confidence. I'm pretty convinced that everyone feels at least a little bit scared and alone. Being able to trick others into thinking that you have it all together. That's the that's the key part into getting people to respect and admire you. I think I'm pretty good at that over the years. I don't show my weakness very often. But because of that, I haven't had any people that I could rely open up to or really open up to. I mean, when did you reach the point in our friendship where you could start expressing your vulnerabilities? Anyway, that's one reason why I'm so glad I have you now. I feel like I'm a little bit, little less, bit, blah. I feel like I'm a little less scared and alone when you're here with me. Do you feel the same way? I really want that person to be, blah, fuck, man.
That's funny because even though I've always had a lot of drive, there's something kind of enticing about being able to stay at home. Oh, being the stay at home partner. I guess I'm like. Perpetuating. Perpetuating gender roles or everything. Perpetuating gender roles or whatever by saying that. Being able to keep the house clean and shop and decorate and things like that. Having a nice dinner for you to come home. No, no. And having a nice dinner for you when you come home is like a weird fantasy. I mean, I'm not sure if I could actually see myself doing that. I would really be able to put that over striving and for fulfilling a career. Striving for a fulfilling career. It's kind of a cute thing to think about, actually. Ah, whatever, dude. You're a fucking bitch, dude. Let me go! Let me go! <laughs> did something funny once. Let's talk about Yuri then. We're all in the club room, just relaxing as usual. Oh, no, we are. Yuri pulled out a small bottle of wine. Not even kidding. She was just like, would anybody like some wine? And Suki laughs out so loud, and so he already started yelling at her. I actually felt kind of bad because she was at least trying to be nice. I think it just made her feel a little bit more reserved in the club room. Though I think Natsuki was secretly a bit curious to try it. To be completely honest, I kind of was too. It actually could have been kind of fun. And, you know, being present and everything, there was no way I could let that happen. Maybe if I all met up outside of school. But we never bonded enough to, to get to that point. Gosh, what am I even talking about this for? I don't condone underage drinking. I mean, I never drank anything, so yeah. Creepy. Even though I deleted everyone else's fires, I can still feel them. It's like their lines are still lingering in the air, whispering in the back of my head. I did if someone you knew died and just started hearing their voice in your head. Imagine I would. <laughs> Maybe I just wasn't uh, thorough enough. I'm too afraid to delete anything else because I might really break things. Like if I mess with my files relevant to me, I might accidentally delete myself. That would ruin everything, wouldn't it? I don't know what it's like on your end, but we should both make sure to avoid to avoid something like that at all costs. I believe in you. Oh, so is that what she's trying to hint at, dude? Is that what she's trying to hint at, dude? Is that what you're trying to make me do, huh? Where is this? Uh, where are you at? I want to delete her files. <laughs> like, I would like to delete her shit. Hey, do you like horror? I remember we talked about it a little bit when you first joined the club. I can enjoy horror novels, but not really horror movies. The problem I have with horror movies is just most of them just rely on easy tactics. Like dark lighting, scary looking monsters and jump scares and things like that. It's not fun or inspiring to get scared by stuff like that take advantage of human instinct. But novels are a little different. The story and writing need to be de uh, descriptive enough to put generally disturbing thoughts to the reader's head. Well, it needs to etch them deeply into the story. Yeah, hey, like, you're this fucking game, dude. In my opinion, there's nothing more creepy than things just being slightly off. Like you used to set up a bunch of expectation and what the story was going to be about. And then you just start inverting things and pulling the pieces apart. So even though the story doesn't feel like it's trying to be scary, the reader feels really deeply unsettled. 
like they know what's going horribly wrong is hiding beneath the cracks and just waiting to surface like this game dude just thinking about it give me the chills that's kind of the horror i can really appreciate but yes you're kind of the person who plays cute romance games right don't worry i'll make you re read any horrors <laughs> okay can't really complain if it just sticks with the romance